Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna share with you what angel investing is all about. So with angel investing, you've heard this buzzword before. You're probably familiar with companies like Uber, Airbnb, SpaceX, Tesla. All these big companies, even the older ones like Apple, Microsoft, they all received money when they were building up. Right when they were starting up, they were getting money. Those investors who threw in money were angel investors. In some cases, venture capital, right, which is larger check sizes. Angel investments, when you're starting up, you're getting seed money, small amounts of capital. And typically, angel rounds vary in size, but they range from a few hundred grand to up to a few million. And sometimes they could be larger, and sometimes they could be smaller. But the beautiful part about angel investing that I at least love is, you're able to participate in tons of different companies by just writing small checks without having to run the business. Being there day to day sucks. It's a grind. I believe being an entrepreneur is the hardest part. And being an investor and writing checks definitely isn't easy either, but it's much easier of a lifestyle than it is to continue to just grind it out each and every single day. So with the angel investing, it's a simple concept of writing small amounts of checks to a handful of companies right when they start off. Now, compared to traditional companies, like ones you find in the stock market, angel investing can lose you a lot more money because a lot of those companies will go to zero, but angel investing could also potentially make you much more money. If you're one of the first check writers in uh, Facebook or uh, Uber, it would make you a multimillionaire, even if you put in something small like $10,000. The returns are much higher and they tend to beat the S&P. But also, what's different compared to the stock market is angel investing, you'll typically get big wins, you'll get a lot of losses, and you'll get some that do okay. But if you pick the right investments, the wins, even if you only have one or two, they could make up for all your losses plus more. And that's what I've had in my case. I've invested in a lot of companies, some have failed, but the ones that have done well, they've more than made up for all the ones that have failed, plus much more by leaps and bounds. But that's the overall concept in which you're just writing checks to help get these companies off the ground. And typically when you're writing checks, the valuations in many cases are probably unrealistic from what you're used to, but that's okay because you're not investing in the business at its current state, you're investing what it can be in the future. And you're typically going after huge, big ideas that can change the world. Because if you get into a company that has a valuation of let's say six million, and we'll get into valuation in some of the other videos in the future. But if you have a company that has a valuation of six million, they're making nothing, but their mission is to, or their goal is to send people into space and live there. If that company works out, it's not a million dollar company, it's a multi-billion dollar company and potentially even a trillion dollar idea. So that's the overall concept of angel investing. This is an introductory video. You were not gonna learn many tactics or strategies when it comes to angel investing in this video, but in future ones, I will get into that.